Okay, I'm going to start Purity of Revenge. Um, for memory, actually. But I have done all these quests before. Not just before, but. Okay. There's that. Okay, I'll go to Dawn Star because I can. Anyway, I um, want to talk about uh, piracy. Now, I think it's a different story in America, but here in Australia, they are talking about introducing a system where the ISPs uh, send you warning letters. They send you one education notice, they call, which is your first warning, and then they send you three subsequent warnings, and then a I notice, I guess, that they uh, they took it to the next level and went to the uh, copyright holders, told them that you were pirating their stuff. Okay, so check the map quickly. Okay, I can go to the right. Oh, and I was gonna try and get more stamina, but. On. Here we go. So yes, uh, it's lots of people say that it's another step to uh, make it easier to prosecute the people that hired, but it's actually a different story. It's um, you know, it's the ISPs protecting their customers from getting themselves into trouble. By <laughs> doing this wrong, aren't I? Yes, I keep going down here. Uh, yeah, so you know, <laughs> you just stop pirating, I guess, after first notice, and you you should be fine, right? And then, I don't know, you don't get into trouble if you don't realize that it's the wrong thing to do anyway. Now, I can definitely see. Um, why you would pirate movies. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous that you pay um, 20 or 25 dollars for a movie, right? I mean, <laughs> so many people do this stuff on YouTube where, like, I, I don't want to put myself on the, you know, production type thing because it's not this is uh it's just some help videos and some fun and i like doing these but uh, you know people spend hours and hours on making videos on youtube and they don't get 20 dollars per viewer per thing they make they get i don't know how much they get but it's certainly not 20 dollars and i understand that the money that they put into movies is a lot more but you know you have also have more people that watch your stuff if you make if you make a good movie that is if you make a bad movie obviously um you know you're not gonna have as many people watching. and i don't see why i have to pay 20 dollars for a movie now if it's a good movie they should get enough viewers if they just charge a couple of cents well, not I don't know, but like a dollar or so per um, per view, then they <laughs> then it should be fine, right? If they have enough viewers, if they have I don't know, hundred million people watching it. I mean, Top Gear, which is a great TV show, they get three hundred fifty million views per thing they make. And if if you make a good movie, you know it's likely that a lot of people are going to see it. And <laughs> if you get an audience, oh, but yes, I, I'm gonna embarrass myself for not knowing where to go. Here we go. This is just a side. Hello. So yeah, it, that's one major reason that you know the whole pain for. Paying a lot of money for movies and also the convenience. Oh my goodness. Now 
Uh, let me just clear out my inventory and I'll be back. See, the problem <laughs> is that I have all these stuffs that I want to keep because they're worth so much. But I never get around to selling stuffs. My okay. Um, dropping that armor. Dragon plate armor. Definitely saved some weight for me. Hmm. Anyway. So the price thing is one. Yeah, and if you want to say, you know, the TV people have put ads on their stuff. No, they don't. Uh -huh. Well, not everyone does. And especially the BBC, they don't put ads on their stuff. And it's, be well, it's because of the way that TV works over in Britain, which is very similar to the way it works in Germany, is that you, you actually pay for having a... Um, a TV connection. I'm gonna have to switch to the other thing because I don't want to face my enchantment power because I can't soul trap anything. But yeah, it, I don't see the reason that movie people should get to charge $20 per movie. And also, the main thing is, isn't that the, the actual you know, publishers or the producers of the movie, they don't get that much money from it. $20 that... Wow, how the hell do you know this? From... You know, you paying $20 for the movie. It's mainly the store that you bought it at, the, um, you know, the publisher and so on. And all of that stuff. I mean, especially with YouTube being around, I don't see why people don't publish their movies on YouTube. I mean, if I can see a movie for free on YouTube, and it's a good movie, it's gonna get millions and millions and millions of views and the producer's gonna make enough money and they don't need all of the, um, you know, <laughs> the people there. that are in between. And I understand that it's sort of, it, it takes a bit of effort to do that because of, you know, all the product placement stuff, getting initial funding and so on and that it's much easier on television but on the same time i mean especially if you're making a worse movie i think it would be a much more reasonable way to you know publish your stuff than charge people 20 dollars for watching anyway i'm getting kind of carried away with what i'm saying Talking about because I'm actually talking about powers how movie people should release their um, content. The other um, problem that a normal legal ways acquiring movies have is the way that you actually get to watch them. Like, movies used to be a sort of big deal because, you know, you didn't have a television in your room and not so on. But I, in my own room, I have two computers, two, well, three or four screens, and every room in the house has at least one computer in it. And that's, that's you know, before this modern time sort of thing. Um, that wasn't normal. And then watching a movie was a big deal, but these days it isn't. Watching a movie is... I don't know. I sometimes even just watch movies whilst I'm doing other things. Like, I don't know, whilst I'm... Yeah, I kind of can't come up with an example, but it's not the thing that it was before. Like, it, it's not a family event that we fire up the television and watch a movie. And then having to go to a video store or whatever to get a movie. I mean, you can rent a movie, right? But you go to the video, video easy is what it's called. It's called. Blockbuster, whatever. I know they're going fast anyway. But you go there and then there's, there's this big room full of 
lots and lots of uh, DVDs and I never know what I should what to get. And then they charge you six or seven dollars just for renting it. Crazy. And then if late fees, it's not even like that's what they make the main money from. The late fees. I've seen people walk into. Um, why does it? How would he attack us? We're here to free him. I've seen people pay five hundred dollars for late fees, and it's not like you know, okay, you know, incur about a dollar a day on a um, on a new release thing that you had for one night, and that's what you paid for. No, you pay as though you had rented it for another night. That's ridiculous. I mean, I can see why they do it. It's because they want they could have rented to someone else, but usually they have around I don't know 20 or 30 copies and they haven't hired out the other ones and they still charge I don't know and it's just it's inconvenient that's what I'm getting at um, to get the movie to the conventional way no no one here just someone here with a Daedric sword in your grill and you're still using a bow and arrow that's fine. now so my real point is that I think that there's a lot of potential in <laughs> the way that the torrent websites do business, right? You know, you go there, you go to the torrent website, there's a search thing, you search for the movie that you want, it gives you all sorts of statistics, like the most popular ones, um, latest and so on and then you just select one and click download and it's I don't know like 10-15 minutes later it's done and you can watch it and I don't see why there aren't more places that are exactly like torrent websites except they're legal where they paid for the you know having the um, the movie or whatever uh, available. And obviously, you know, you don't have to pay for it. Like the, the end users don't have to pay for his license. But no, <laughs> it's a good system the way that they're doing it, and I don't see why more people, more companies aren't doing it exactly like that. And I know Netflix uh, is around. Okay, what I'm doing here quickly. <laughs> As, as a side note, is I'm trying not to let both of them hit me at once, and I'm also I was originally gonna kill the other guy first, but he doesn't seem to be in any trouble right now. I'm just hitting this guy in the shield over and over. Stupid idiot. Um, no, it's it's a brilliant way of sit. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. It's an ideal way to distribute movies, and I I don't see any reason that it's not like that in the, you know, the legal. But, but in the end, you know, piracy is not how you should get movies. It's, <laughs> it's illegal, and for good reasons. Um, because you know you. You are taking someone else's stuff. That's why it's illegal. Um, <laughs> I know that's a bit obvious, but whatever. Alright, now I have to go back to Jaw Basket. Um, probably prepared Codlex funeral by now. Oh Come god, this is this lame. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. The, um,. Okay, some finishing thoughts on the Companions Quest that I just quickly wanted to add. I think they're a bit boring. I think interesting is actually happening. Drink some of it. I want to hold. Actually, 
see how fresh is water. It's been around for millions and millions of years. And some ne Neanderthal probably pissed the water out that you just drank. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, the, the companion's quest. Uh, they're a bit uh, boring. They're nothing interesting. I mean, you just go into a place and you just go kill lots of people and take an object and then go back. It's a bit boring. But anyway, um, I don't think it can be as brilliant as the Thieves Guild quest line, which was great, but very short. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching um, Purity of Revenge. Um, yeah, see you next time.